Hi, Yellow Six students. It's Mrs. Shamar Tafata. Um, today, I'm going to be going over uh, your free verse assignment. So, what you will need. I know. I'm sorry. I started the video on the YouTube channel. Um, you're going to need to pull up your poetry digital resource slideshow and take a look at slide 31. Okay, and it should have this looks like a gift tag that has the word for the fr phrase free verse on it okay so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and go over what free verse is so the definition in notes for free verse is basically free verse is a poem that has no regular rhythm no rhyme no form or structure so it's really just a free-for-all kind of poem, okay? Um, so in a way, it's really hard to kind of mess up a free verse poem, okay? So I'm going to show you on your resource slide uh, two examples. So the first one is called Fog, and it is by Carl Sandburg. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over Harbor and City on silent haunches and then moves on. Do you notice there's no rhythm? There isn't any kind of rhyme. Um, there isn't really form or structure to it. If you look, two lines here, then it has the two lines and then the word city here. They could have fit city there. They didn't. They went on to the next line. Okay. What I do want you to notice, though, is that it uses descriptive language. Um, one thing that you probably want to include in your free verse are really descriptive words, rich words, not just basic words. Okay, so if you look at this example, you see um, harbor, you see city, um, you see a description of little, you see haunches, you see silent there are, uh, it's not just like really simple words okay I would like you to try to challenge yourself to just use some you know more sophisticated words another example is this one it's called after the sea ship by Walt Whitman and Walt Whitman is a pretty famous poet um, who is no longer alive so let's read his uh, free verse poem. After the sea ship, after the whistling winds, after the gray white sails, taut to their spars and ropes, below a myriad, myriad waves, hastening, lifting up their necks, tending in ceaseless flow toward the track of the ship. So again, no regular rhythm, no rhyme, there's not really any kind of form or structure, no rhyme scheme, um, okay? But again, there are descriptive words in here, whistling. And this actually is um, alliteration, whistling winds. We have taut, spars, myriad, hastening, lifting, tending ceaseless flow okay so there are some nice um, descriptive words in there and so when you are writing your free verse poem you will want to include um, those kinds of things those kinds of words because it will make your poem more interesting next you will be going into your poetry book slideshow 2020 which is your summative and you will take a look at slide five and six so, let me, uh, you know what, let me present this. Okay, so this is slide five, and as you will see, it says free verse one, and we have the same uh, definition and notes here, just to remind you in case you forget. But as you will see here, there is an annotating key here, and there are six uh, terms in here. 
personification, hyperbole, complete rhyme, partial rhyme, internal rhyme, and refrain. Now, you will need to ha include all of these things in your free verse poem. Okay, so let's get into the directions here, which are in the dotted box. You will type a free verse poem to the left, which means, oh, sorry, in this box. Uh, be sure to include a title in the box above the poem. The topic of this poem must be different than the second free verse poem you will write on the next slide. So your topic about this free verse poem could be love. It could be friendship. It could be stars, dreams. But part of the directions is that you must include all of the elements in the annotating key and label them by outlining the words of your poem in the colors of the annotating key. So you know up here, and you've done this already. You're gonna outline it with a text box and then you will use the color. You only need one one personification, one hyperbole, one complete rhyme, one partial rhyme, one internal rhyme, and one refrain. But remember, when they're things like the rhymes, they're two words, okay? And a refrain, again, is repeating, repeated lines. Okay, so this is free verse one. You're gonna have to write two free verse poems. So now this is free verse number two same definition and same um, annotating key you have to include same terms you have to include uh, you will need to write a title but remember this topic needs to be different than the one you did in free verse number one your free verse number one poem so this poem could be about cats it could be about your best friend it could be about roblox it could be about YouTube. It could be about a book. But it the topic needs to be different than what you did in your free verse poem number one. You need to include all of these elements and put a text, a color-coded text box around the examples. Again, to remind you, whenever there are rhymes, there's gonna be two boxes. For, I mean, for two, two words that show a complete rhyme, two words that show a partial rhyme, and two words in a single line that show an internal rhyme, okay? The refrain is going to be like a line that's repeated. All right, if you have any questions about your free verse poems, you need to go to your teacher's office hours or email them or Google Voice them, whatever you need to do to get in touch with your teacher and your teachers are more than happy to help you. So again, remember this is part of your poetry summative. You should know what these things are. If you don't, go back to your reference slideshow and take a look at the notes. That is why we gave them to you, okay? So that you can go back and if you're not sure, you have the resources to find the answers. Okay, good luck, bye.